Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement so the first message we have here is wow messages from the universe I just got mutual very clearly so divine masculine and the divine feminine energy is coming through very very strongly okay I'm picking up on a connection that is in a moment of separation at this time. Because for some reason, you both are being guided to focus on things that kind of go beyond our human comprehension. And the universe right now is acting as this sort of energetic link between the both of you. Something about this does feel very time sensitive and also really important. Because when this card comes out, it's highlighting the ways in which the universe will give you information when you are at a distance. And depending on how spiritually inclined you are, these messages may be decoded to sort of inform you on where you are in your journey and maybe even give you some divine insight on your person. But what's sticking out here is that neither of you are in this place where you're actually seeking this, okay? So I'm getting that this information, these signs are actually finding you and kind of meeting you where you are. So this is why it feels kind of important because the information is coming directly to you, okay? I'm also getting specific. So this could be pointing to how the information is being relayed to the both of you. Um, divine Feminine, you being more in tune with the subconscious realm, maybe you're receiving messages in a way that naturally aligns with your energy. So this may be messages in the dream state, maybe number sequences, animal totems, okay? And you may even be seeing things in your day-to-day -day life that make you pause and question if they mean something deeper, okay? So if you're wondering if the messages you're receiving are divinely guided, they are. That's coming through very clearly. This is also happening to your masculine, but in a different way. Because they resonate more with the physical realm, I'm getting that the signs that they receive may be a little bit more blatant or just a little bit more in your face, okay? So much so that it kind of stops them dead in their tracks and they know that it's, it's coming directly from a higher power. And this is happening to this masculine specifically because I'm getting that they're more inclined to kind of overlook the subtle things or the little things that may land in their path. They need big, in your face, blatant, direct signs, okay? So this is how the universe is communicating with them at this time, okay? Um, and it's almost like the universe has this way of not only sending you signs when it wants to get your attention, but also communicating in a way that's really, really specific to you, okay? So that you won't be able to question. Whatever these signs are that you both are receiving, it's coming to you in a way where even if you want to question, you can't, okay? And I feel like this is happening to let you both know that this is real and that whatever it is that you're thinking about one another, you're not going crazy, your thoughts are valid, your feelings are valid, okay? That's just the way the energy is coming through. So there could be many moments where you both kind of second guess, um, and maybe you actually wonder what your person's perspective is, or, or even if they receive guidance in the same way. So this is definitely giving you confirmation on that. And also with this being the first car, it's kind of like first things first. Almost as if a higher power wants to let you know before the message even unfolds that you are in fact receiving divine guidance at this time. And this is something that you should be paying attention to. So you may not be aware of this, but it's like you and your person are kind of being urged to become fluent in the language of the universe at this time, okay? Um, because when it's something that you really, really need to know, it will be brought to your attention. And that's what's happening right now in this connection that I'm picking up on, okay? And I'm getting that you both may be focused on other things. It feels like your energy may be focused on other things, you know, handling your business, um, tackling your day-to-day -day tasks, you know, things of that nature. Or you both may have intentionally 
taking your attention off of this connection for reasons that may be serving you both at this time. But deep down, the way the energy is coming through is that you both are concerned with how the other is feeling, okay? You're concerned about why certain decisions were made and what kind of led up to this point of separation, okay? But even though you're not seeking this information, it's presenting itself to you, which is very, very interesting, okay? Because whether you know it or not, there is a heavy energy of sacredness surrounding your connection at this time, okay? In a way that you both can feel or in a way that's trying to be communicated with you. Something about this does feel really, really important, okay? Let's get the next message here. Okay, so the next message we have is, I really wish you knew this. Okay, so, so this explains it right here. So this is why the universe is trying to get your attention. Okay, I'm getting clearly misunderstanding. So there's some kind of misunderstanding that's been kind of lingering over your connection for a very long time. And it's something that you both are not even acknowledging, okay? And now it's playing out in your connection in a way that you might not even be aware of. Divine Feminine, you may actually be surprised to know that the way that your masculine experiences this connection is very different from you, okay? And I'm getting that this is from the moment that they first met you up until where you are right now. Like if you both were to kind of sit back and you were to hear them recount things or go over a series of events, certain things that happened, you will be shocked to know that they may translate a very different experience than you, okay? And this is affecting how you both are showing up, not only in this connection, but also in your personal lives as well, okay? What's interesting about this is that the way your energies is coming through there's a deep level of resonance within this connection where you both have this ability to really, really connect emotionally in a way that you never have before. But there's still this heavy underlying energy of doubt. So maybe you're in a place right now where you both are really curious about the other, okay? There's also something here being highlighted about the physical, versus the emotional aspect of your connection and how these energies are really affecting the both of you and how you're currently viewing everything. So Divine Feminine, your energy is coming through strongly here. So there may be a lot that you've held back, but I'm getting a really clear, a really clear energy coming through with you as well. So you may be in a place where you are being very intentional about your healing and you're feeling just really clear, okay? Just a really, you know, a sense of clarity on your part, okay? Because this is being reflected in your energy right now. There could have been many times in the past where you ignored your intuition when it comes to this masculine. So maybe there were things that you wanted to say, but you didn't. Or maybe you said things in the moment and you immediately felt like you shouldn't have said that or you should have held back just because of how this connection unfolded, okay? Which I'm picking up on something that was very, very instantaneous, okay? One from, one that, you know, from the moment you cross paths, it was really intense, really passionate, really fast paced, okay? Or this is just the overall energy. And what's interesting is that it's coming through very mutual. So your masculine is actually feeling the same way. This is a very sacred connection I'm tapping into. But there's also heavy doubt when it comes to how you think your masculine feels. I'm getting you have no idea. Or what you may be thinking is very far from what they actually experience. And something is happening energetically where both of you are kind of yearning for the other's truth about everything. But this is on a much deeper level because now a higher power is trying to get you both to finally see something that you really need to know about one another. Um, and whatever this is, it feels like it would just bring such a fresh energy. It would just provide so much clarity um, about how you both actually experience one another, okay? 
And it's almost giving you like a peek into their heart and their mind as things were actively unfolding. Because this is definitely, wherever you are in your journey, it's definitely affecting you. And I feel like this is on an unconscious level, okay? Um, Divine Feminine, it's really affecting you emotionally and it's affecting your masculine physically, okay? So there are things that are happening in your life right now that are tied directly to one another, but you both have no idea. And this is why you're both are kind of receiving these messages from the universe to really bring this to your awareness, okay? So that it can be addressed. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have here is, I never expected this from you. Hmm. Okay. So if you're resonating with this message so far, I feel like this is giving you the overview or the higher perspective of why things just may feel different in your connection at this time. And we're actually moving into a very intense time on the planet, okay? So this is naturally shaking things up on every level. What's happening is that a lot of the energy that may have been lying dormant or kind of resting in the lower chakras are now rising up to the upper chakras or the more spiritual chakras, okay? Creating this internal divine balance between you and your masculine. This is really a time where the veil is being removed and you're seeing one another for who you truly are, okay? It's almost as if there's nowhere to hide. So the higher self and the lower self is being illuminated simply for the purpose of integration. And this is what the twin flame journey is all about. So Divine Feminine, I'm getting that you're at this place where you're really beginning to understand what being the feminine energy really means and how your emotional body is actively kind of creating things in your masculine's physical reality. And your masculine is finally understanding that they're actually connected to you in a more intricate way than they probably understand. And they also have realized that this energy has the ability to directly affect their physical reality, okay? The decisions that they make, you affect how they express themselves, how they show up, their emotions, their actions, okay? Simply because I feel like there's a misunderstanding of how deeply connected you actually are. This is a very, very real thing. And now you both know this for sure, or you're kind of coming into this awareness. So in the recent past, there may have been moments where all of that dormant energy began to rise, and it may have made you see one another in a totally different light, okay? Especially things relating to the lower chakras, the parts of ourselves that we bury deep down, the things that we keep private or we probably would not openly share with anybody, okay? So when these things become exposed, Maybe you saw some things that you weren't expecting. And this doesn't have to be anything major. It can be as simple as your masculine's feelings, their emotions, or it can be in, as intense as past experiences, maybe hidden truths, okay? And this connection is so in tune that maybe you just know things that your person haven't verbally expressed, but for some reason this information kind of presents itself to you in the most unexpected ways, okay? A lot of you receive information telepathically or you just have divine insight, okay? You may also realize that there are things you have in common on both ends of the spectrum. So whether you know this or not, the universe or a higher power is trying to get your attention to let you know that there is no amount of distance that could ever sever this energetic bond that you have, okay? And I'm getting that you both have tried. And so maybe you're at this point right now where you're trying to understand how this actually works. You may be surprised to know, Divine Feminine, that there's so many moves your masculine has made that are directly linked to how the energy is currently flowing within your connection. So if the energy is stuck, they may find themselves hesitating, they may resist, they may overthink, okay, sometimes even to the point of inaction. In Divine Feminine, this is affecting you more emotionally, where you may overthink, okay, maybe you second guess yourself, or you just feel really, really vulnerable to what you're feeling for your masculine, okay? 
the way they feel, you know, and the way that your masculine reacts is always a direct reflection of how the energy is flowing within your dynamic, okay? And on some level, you both are beginning to realize that. Or you will soon, okay? Because I'm getting that you both have been receiving signs simply to communicate this information to you, okay? So you're really beginning to understand just how powerful your connection is and just how energetically bonded you are, okay? In a very, very real way. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have is, wow. God works in mysterious ways. Wow. The energy of this reading is really, really beautiful, okay? And honestly, it's making me a little emotional because I feel like this shift is so powerful for the both of you, but you may not even know that your person is having such a life-changing experience because of the time, the distance, and the level of communication that you're having right now. So this is why a higher power is sending you both very powerful, undeniable signs right now. Because there's a lot of illusions on this planet. And it's really easy to fall victim to the things that we see and hear on a daily basis. But it's like you're being reminded that in a world full of distractions, it's imperative for you to remember that even though you're in this world, you're not of this world, okay? And the connection that you are in is not of this world. This reading here is very spiritual. And so this is tapping into a much more sacred part of your connection and showing you how God would literally put people on your path for a very specific reason. And the way in which you come into this connection is very specific. Everything about it will be divine. This is not something that you go looking for. This is absolutely something that finds you in the right place at the right time, okay? You see how the reading started off with messages from the universe. So this goes beyond asking for a sign. The signs are coming to you. And this is what separates this from anything you have ever experienced because the universe will make sure that you know what this is, that you know exactly what it is. There will be no room for doubt. That is how powerful you are. And that's how powerful and important this connection is. So this goes way beyond the ways in which we try to kind of box this energy in. The truth is, it's just way too vast for us to even understand. And that is why you're kind of being guided by a higher, by a higher power, okay? For some of you, you know that this connection came straight from God because there will be no other logical explanation for it, okay? Maybe your person is not your usual type. Maybe you come from totally different backgrounds. There could be an age difference. I mean, there's many different ways um, or various different ways that this connection can show up in your life. So externally, there may be so many things that you can count off that would just disqualify your connection. But the truth is that the outside does not matter. This connection comes into your life to show you the power of love and for you to be a demonstration of what divine balance looks like in a world where that may be lost on a lot of people. So you and your masculine are in this place where you definitely feel like there's such a mysterious element to your connection. And this is what's about to unfold at this time, okay? You will come into information that is gonna make everything make sense. You're gonna understand why you both align, but this will confirm what you know to be true on the inside, okay? And this information will come directly from a higher power or through your person's higher self, okay? The energy right now overall is shifting from a very earthly energy to a very spiritual, high vibrational energy. And it's creating this flow within your connection that kind of allows you to see clearly and to be seen in a way like never before, okay? So there is literally parts of you that are being illuminated and parts of your person that are being illuminated in order for you to kind of come together and have this really, really sacred merging at this time, okay? And that may be why you feel a little bit different about your connection, um, something is definitely happening on a very spiritual level.
okay? And both of you are feeling this or the universe will be communicating this to you in very different ways, but the messages will be absolutely clear to both of you. Let's get the next message here. So the next message we have is, you are the blueprint. Yeah, this, this energy is very, very deep here. And it's really, really mutual. You both feel this way about one another, that you are the blueprint, okay? That you kind of unlock parts of one another that no one else can. And I'm getting that you've seen parts of your person that maybe were tough for you to deal with. Because the reality is that this is someone who will absolutely trigger you in the best way possible. When you look at it from a higher perspective, they have this ability to illuminate that shadow aspect within you. The parts of yourself that you would rather not lead with. But it's designed that way for your benefit. For you to heal and for it to kind of be reflected back to you by someone who shares the same internal makeup with you. What's interesting is that when it comes to this type of connection, I think that most people overlook just how rare it is. And it's not something that everyone will experience in a lifetime because it is a constant reminder of your divinity, but it also reminds you of all that you are, okay? So no matter where you are on your journey, this is in fact your life partner. You both have been through moments in time, like now, where things may seem a little uncertain, where you may be questioned the validity of your connection. Maybe you even question your higher power in moments like this, asking questions like, why did you even align with this person? Why did you sign up to have this experience in this lifetime? And the truth will actually shock you. You've been chosen for this because you are special, because you possess a rare energy, and because you have the capacity to really live in alignment with the truth. And the truth is love. But there's still a journey to get here. And this is the part that we label the painful part, the intense part. But I feel like you both are kind of being guided to see this connection through a new lens, to release the expectation and to simply just enjoy it, to really bask in the, in the awareness that the creator identified something in you to bless you with this very rare connection in this lifetime. So I know that the physical aspect is really, really intense where it makes you feel things you've never felt before. It challenges everything that you thought you knew about love. This connection, you know, this assignment is not for the weak. It's designed for souls who are here to affect radical change on this planet. And this connection is something that's absolutely tied to your destiny. And you will know this because ever since you align with your person, you've been changed forever. And so this energy is being highlighted at this stage of your connection because a lot of you will be uncovering your why. A lot of you will kind of be stepping in fully into who you are beyond this physical form. And everything is gonna to begin to make sense. So I feel like this is giving you a peek into the mental dialogue that you both kind of have with yourselves in moments like this one, where you may feel like you really don't understand the purpose. Or you may even question if this connection is as important as you think. It absolutely is. And the reason will unfold in your lives very soon. But this will only happen if you truly believe and only if you surrender to the fact that you're not in control as bad as you want to be in control, especially the masculine, as bad as your masculine wants to be in control, especially when it comes to you, Divine Feminine, they know deep down that there's something much greater driving this connection. And so right now you both are being guided to let go of the projections that may have kind of taken the front seat of your connection and to release the need to know every single thing. I feel like in this moment, you both are kind of realizing that you can't believe some of the things you had to face in this connection, mainly with yourselves. You still can't believe that this connection has extracted so much from you and also what it has given you, but you still have this feeling deep down that there is a deeper meaning, okay? And it is. You may be seeing the number 222 a lot at this time, or you may be seeing pairs, 
This signifies that you are on the same page like never before because this energy is rising to the crown, okay? To your highest versions. And so your expression will be different. Your thinking will shift. Your heart will remain open, okay? And this has been the plan the whole time for you both to ascend to the highest vibration, which is love, okay? So that this can be reflected in all that you touch and all that you do. You are chosen for this connection because the Most High has deemed you worthy enough to really be an example of what love actually is, but also what love is not, okay? So there's something really unfolding within this connection here. And it's almost like this is a higher power telling you, divine feminine, divine masculine, you are the blueprint, okay? I feel like you may have a lot of questions you may be asking yourself why you had to align, why why are you even on this journey, okay? A lot of those, those really, really painful or really, really hard questions are coming to the surface right now. Um, and this is why, because you are the blueprint, okay? Let's get the last message here. Okay, so the last message we have here is you're my safe space. Oh. Okay, so this message, this connection that I'm tapping into is something that is very, very sacred. Something that is very, very rare. And I feel like this message is for you if you're at this place where you're definitely questioning what's going on in your connection, you're questioning the shifts that are happening. A lot of times when you are in separation or in no, in no contact, the universe has this way of really kind of awakening you and sending you information to really, really help you merge, to align the energies within yourself so that things begin to clear within your connection. Because I feel like what's being pointed out right now is that you both are one another's safe space. You are absolutely connected energetically. You share a chakra system and there's nothing that you can do that your person will not feel. And the same thing goes for you, Divine Feminine. You have no idea how you directly affect them in real time. And so I feel like there's kind of like this recalibration happening within this connection where your attention is is kind of being drawn to what's really important, where, where this thing really originated from, and that's love, okay? This is a very, very rare connection. I think we overlook just how rare it is and just how special it is, okay? This is literally where you go to heal. This is the one person on the planet who's able to see all of you, okay, without judgment. And that can be kind of triggering a lot of times, but I feel like you're at this place where you're being guided to refocus or to kind of see this through a new lens, to kind of let go of the stories that have been created, to kind of fill the space of, of these moments of uncertainty while you're on this journey here, okay? So I'm definitely getting that Right now, you may have a lot of feelings brewing to the surface, really deep feelings about your person that you've kind of held back. And they can feel this because they've done the same thing with you, Divine Feminine. But there's also this feeling coming through of you both really wanting to express a lot of that heaviness. And this is simply to clear the energy. Um, a lot of times, you get to this place where you even begin to wonder, why did you align with this person? Why, why are you so drawn to a person? Maybe they're not even your usual type. Maybe they're exactly the opposite of what you would go for. This is something here being highlighted about the physical versus the emotional aspect of your connection. And what becomes most important is the feeling that they create and how they kind of give you this safe space to feel seen in a way that you never have before. And this is the energy that the universe is trying to create right now, okay? Um, I don't know if you all feel it, but there's very, very intense energy just happening on the planet right now. And 
I feel like this may just be what you need to recalibrate the energy and to help kind of shift the focus back to love. So you're being guided to be gentle with yourselves, divine feminine, and your masculine as well as these shifts are kind of happening because you're, it feels like this connection is ascending to a higher timeline, okay? But this is going to really require you to open up your heart space in a way like never before. Um, you're definitely beginning to see the truth about one another and about why you align in this lifetime, okay? This is literally unfolding and this will begin to unfold over the course of this year, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.